Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. Good times for all, or Zachary Zabala here if you prefer. In this video, I would like to start a GoFundMe to recreate the test done by Boyd Bushman. I will let him explain what he did. Um, a little backstory he is a Lockheed Martin engineer, or he was back in 1996, and he made a discovery. And it has a lot to do with magnetism and gravity. And you can even hear him near the beginning here. Listen, he's going to call gravity cousins with magnetism. Kind of like St Ken Wheeler states, they're all the same thing. A lot of people are doing nothing more than getting huge, huge quantities of mass and see if they can get a a gravity wave to cause things to move. Mm -hmm. Well, that isn't what, it, what we're talking about at all. Mm -hmm. So I uh, wondered if gravity could be uh, related to its cousin magnetism. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, I found that when I take two magnets together, I have some neodymiums around here that I'm actually afraid of. They, They're they, so can, they, can, they can danger you. But anyhow, you take a magnet, you go to put them together and go, and they go clunk, right? Mm. But you take one of them, move it around, and all of a sudden, it doesn't want to yeah, go right. The repulsive. So I got, a, I had, I ordered one at five thousand dollars a piece, wow. with 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 a quarter inch hole through between both of them, and I put a brass. Now don't get too scared. Five thousand dollars a piece. That's uh, Lockheed Martin money. So that's more like fifty dollars, a hundred dollars a piece. No. Um, I'm sure they were probably more expensive back then, 25 years ago, 24 years ago. But anyway, I'll let him continue. Bolt, and I tighten them down. A brass forcing bolt. Forcing them together. Mm -hmm. And then I put them together in a thing that looks kind of like a rock. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I got another one that didn't have magnets in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Galileo, in, in all his endeavors, Okay, up. blah, 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 Galileo dropping things, and they hit it at the same time. They show the astronauts, blah, 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 dropping the feather and the thing on the moon. We'll let him continue now. Go one, mm -hmm. by the side of escalators and, and elevators. Oh, wow. And I got, I got, uh, I got, I got uh, nine guys that were not educated and didn't have pre, didn't have free opinions on anything mm -hmm. and I dropped my two rocks mm -hmm. and well, I said what I would like you to do is I told him what I'd like you to do is I would like you to take whichever one arise first get it in your hand when I come down the elevator hand it to me mm -hmm. now they looked identical except for so and and nobody knew what was inside not, absolutely not mm -hmm. all the nine times that I tested it it's as though the one with the opposing magnet field extending out mm -hmm. three feet on each side. I actually measured how, how far, big the field is. How big the field was. And on each side of a rock, the, of one rock, I had a total of six feet. At any rate, the other the other rock arrived first. Which one arrived first? The, the, one, the one that had no magnetic field in it. So you. So by putting a positive pole up against a positive pole and forcing them together, he found out that this does something to create it to interact with the magnetic field and slow its descent. Now listen to what this young gentleman over here says. You were able to cancel out gravity to a certain degree. You were able to cancel, Precisely. reduce the mass gravity effect. Precisely. By, okay. by opposing fields. Isn't that nice? You, you bet. And got nine signatures and would I always skip, you know. You I, did that at Lockheed? What year is this? Oh, uh, at least eight years ago. This is um, the actual document of Boyd's where mm -hmm. he proved that by altering the, the field mm -hmm. in a falling body, the magnetic field, it reduced its mass gravity equivalent and canceled out the uh, effects of gravity to a certain percent. Mm -hmm. And he did a 500, a building 500 drop test conducted from a height of 59 feet. Mm -hmm. The location is in White Settlement, Texas. And the time was 12.20 p.m. 
and this was in 1995, December 12th. 1995. Nobody knows this. I know it. So, what? Did you hear what this guy, okay, sorry. I talked there. Listen to what this guy says. Right here. 20 p.m., and this was in 1995, December 12th. Nobody knows this. I know it. So, Nobody knows this. Why is this not taught in schools? We need to make this so well known. Our, the children need to know this. If we're going to advance, uh, okay, I'm not even going to get into a rant or a spiel. This definitely needs to get out there. So yeah. gravity, mass gravity is not, um, well, it, you can alter it. No well, gravity, uh, gravity within itself has to have, gravity goes through anything that is solid and anything like iron or anything yeah. else. But I, but it has to have a magnetic component. A magnetic component. Let's let him finish. Mm -hmm. Which may be canceling out within itself. Ah, okay. Boyd Bushman, look him up. This is one of the most beautiful sayings right here. So I'd like to hear him say this. This guy's going to say, My rock. Watch. Yet all of a sudden recognize a presence. But somebody, of my rock. Uh, one of Einstein's students tried to merge electromagnetism and gravity and he rejected it. But he didn't have an experiment like you. No, did. I understand. I, yeah. I, I know that. Yeah. But, Listen. But, but see, we, you, nature never uses English. It doesn't speak. It doesn't speak any language. But yet it's talking to us all the time. Right. And the key thing is, is to identify, identify what it's saying. Identify what nature is saying. So here's my idea. I'm going to get... These are only three nineteen a piece. Um, we'll order four or five of them, six of them. Oh, definitely doubles. And it's just a sphere that clamps together, and it's acrylic. They say it's shatterproof. Shatterproof. And we'll be definitely dropping them onto some kind of soft surface to catch them. But we'd like to have something like this. And I found them up to 140 something millimeters, a little over five and a half inches. So we have plenty of room to work with, but I'd like to put some magnets inside of these, fill them with other stuff so it's not rattling around and drop them and see what we get. Two things that weigh the exact same, one with opposing magnetic fields, one with no magnetic field and see what happens. Um, so our casing will not be expensive. The magnets, they range. Um, I'd like it to be at a minimum of a 200 pound. That means it can lift up a steel plate a quarter of an inch thick that weighs 200 pounds. That's how they do their rating. Two inches, countersunk permanent magnet. They have to have the hole going all the way through so we can put a brass bolt through there and then tighten it down and get them to be forced together um here's an oh that's the same one we want it to be neodymium but the prices aren't horrible thirty dollars we can do a uh 400 pound I'm thinking this might be the limit I'd like to try at first. They do, I have found 1,300 pound ones with a hole all the way through, and those are about 70 bucks a piece. I would try it, but I don't know how well that would work. So, um, I'm going to put a Go fund me out there. You'll find the link in the description. Um, I'm going to max it out at $200. I don't see why. Any reason. Let's see. This would be like 120 for these. I mean, I found some other ones that were... Well, we'll just start here. We don't need to go any stronger than a 1,300 pound. And this should be a 52. Oh, it's only an N42. 
So we'll say we'll spend up to shipping's twenty forty six. We'll spend up to like seventy five, eighty dollars on a magnet. And then for all the other hardware, I'll just max it out at two hundred dollars. Um and what whatever we get within a week, we'll go ahead with that. We'll shut down the GoFundMe, close it out, and we'll order the magnets and all the little stuff to try to get it together. Um we may be trying to find somebody with a press. Um, the 1300 one, folks, is, I mean, I will. You know what? We'll do, I mean, it's still a magnet that you would have that we can do all kinds of tests and stuff with. I'll make it $300. And if we do hit the $300, I will get these. Well, depending on, let's see, these are 45, so that'd be 90. I'd like to try the 400 pound one for sure. But let's see, that'd be like 30. Um, 90 so that'd be 120 and then 70 250 we'll say okay if it hits yeah if it hits 300 we will do all of them we'll order all the magnets, a 200 pound, a 400 pound, and then the 1300 pound. Um, we will try our best to get this one stuck together. Um, I can't guarantee anything though. That's That scares me, this really does. A 1300 pound magnet trying to take two of them and get them to not flip over and smash together. Ugh, that's scary. So. That's it, folks. Um, I'll put the link in the description for the GoFundMe. If you guys would like to see this test done, um, it will be, I'm sure, Bob, Cammy, myself, and we'll try to get a hold of a few other people, witnesses and whatnot, and maybe we can find a nice place to do it in public or we could get some people to sign it and whatnot. So if you'd like to see this test done, um, or even go try to do it yourself, if you don't, want to i think this needs to be done and shown all over so um yeah that's it if you'd like to help out links in the description this is good times for all signing out as always thanks for watching